Hey, welcome back to the Hydro Series. Today I'm gonna to be setting up an auto top off or ATO uh, kit for my Hydros controller. Now I've had an ATO before and the one that I had worked great until one day when I was doing a water change, I had the power supply wire going over to the little brain that controls it and I always unplugged it so it wouldn't alarm when I'm doing a water change. So I unplugged it and I accidentally dropped that wire into my sump and then of course I didn't dry it all the way out, plugged it in, fried it out. So I needed a new auto top off and I thought, hey, I've got a Hydros controller now, why not use their ATO kit? So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna set this up and uh, see how it goes. Now an auto top off, it's just very simple. Down in your sump area, you get evaporation and you've got a level that you wanna keep it at. And you always refill it with RODI water because the salt doesn't evaporate out, just the water does. So you saw me dumping water into my sump at the beginning of the show. And I have a mechanical auto top off unit that my sump came with. Um, and it worked good, but it's very small reservoir. So I was constantly filling it. And the other thing was, is I couldn't get anything in there to refill it. I had to like fill it with, you know, a small little bucket. Um, so it was kind of a drag. Now I'm using the five gallon buckets and I'm putting it right inside the uh, cabinet here so it's out of view. Now I want to get the, the tall skinny ones that uh, Red Sea just came out with. Um, well, I call them jugs. And uh, the Red Sea jugs is tall and skinny so it wouldn't take up this whole area down here in my cabinet. Let's take a look at uh, all the parts here for what you'll need to set up your auto top off. Okay, let's take a look inside the box, see what our kit comes with. And we open it up and there's our water level sensor with the uh, Hydros connector color coded in green. So you know it goes with a sense port. Then you've got your micro pump and its connector is color coded in orange. I don't know if you can see it there, but uh, goes into an orange port. Then you've got your tubing that connects to your pump down in your reservoir and goes back into your sump and a connector to hold it inside your sump. And then one of the best parts is step one, a QR code. So let's scan the QR code and uh, get started installing this. So I'll start off by opening my iPhone's camera and scanning the QR code. It brings you to the online manual as a coral view. I'll go ahead and select Hydros controllers since I'm using my Hydros controller. And then I'll scroll down and look for what it is that I want to set up. Lots of options here, um, different accessories that they sell. I'm going to outputs here and there it is. The second one down, I'll select add an ATO and it opens up a manual on exactly what to do to set up my ATO. And then you just follow the directions here. And the first thing is, is create an ATO output and then you'll do some configuring. I'm gonna start out by setting up my water level sensor and my pump and plugging them into my controller. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the magnetic backing of my water sensor, water level sensor, and I'm gonna put it at uh, just below the high water level mark on my sump, right down where the mechanical float is to tell the mechanical auto top off when to come on and off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It attaches super simple using a magnet on either side of the glass. Okay, now I'm gonna take the little protective sleeve off this sense port on my Hydros controller and I'm gonna plug in my new water level sensor. At least can only go in one way. There's a little notch so you'll feel it it engage and I'm gonna screw it in and now I have my water level sensor plugged into my Hydros. I'll go put this in the drawers, save it. Okay, I've taken the supplied tubing, connected it to the little pump. Now I've got the tubing line and the connector line that connects to the Hydros controller. I'm gonna drop these down into my reservoir and run these lines through the cap so I can put a cap 
on the reservoir, like so. Then I'm gonna run this line over to the return pump area of my sump where the water can come out through the pump. And I'm gonna connect this end to my hydros controller. Okay, now I'm gonna take the connector end of my micro pump that goes down into my ATO reservoir and I'm gonna connect it to drive port number two. All right, now that I've got my water level sensor and my pump hooked up to my control unit, I'm gonna go ahead and set them up in the Hydros app. Now it's pretty intuitive. I'm just gonna open the Hydros app and when it opens here, it always brings you to your status screen and I'm gonna go, right now I've only got a temperature sensor. I'm gonna to go to my inputs, the three little dots right there, and I'm gonna select add an input, and I'm gonna call this ATO water level. I'll just call it water level. And then it asks me what type of a sensor is it, and it's an optical, um, it's in the sense port and it's an optical water level. It's in sense port two. And then it asks me what notification level I want. Let's just go yellow, um, alert when dry. I want it to alert me when it's dry. Um, I'll just know when it's filling. Now that's one of the cool things that you have here is that you can have alerts. Now on most ATOs, they don't need to alert you. They just work automatically, hence automatic top off. But um, it's nice to know when things are working so you can have it send you an email or a text message. Um, so that's pretty cool. So, and then at the bottom, we'll upload the changes. And so now it's got my water level optical sensor in sense port two. Okay, now I'm gonna set up my ATO. I'm gonna go to outputs, add an output, and I'm gonna name it ATO, done, create. And what is it? And right at the top here, you'll see ATO. I'm gonna select ATO. Level input is the next thing, create a new level input. Um, I don't know that I need to do that. Oh, there's the one I created, ATO water level. Let's choose that. Now output device, will go here. It is in drive port number two. So I'll select drive two. Here's the power safe range. Um, I'm not sure about that, so I'm not gonna change anything. Then power notification level. Uh, we'll just put everything yellow. And then there's some more advanced settings down below. Um, but we'll just upload the changes here. So immediately when I made those changes, my ATO uh, started up. And you can see now it rose up to the level of the optical sensor and automatically shut off. Oh, no way. That was awesome. As soon as I uploaded those changes in the app, the sensor sensed that it was dry. It turned the micro pump on. It pumped water into the return pump area of my sump until the water level reached the optical sensor and shut it off. Now I've got an automatic top off using my Hydros controller. That was pretty easy and it's pretty awesome. I can also monitor it in the app, which is really sweet and uh, very cool. So if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. And thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Later.